Hey guys! Today's video is reacting to my subscribers' assumptions about my guinea pigs and about me. I ask you guys on Instagram and on YouTube to send me your assumptions and if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm going to link my account here so you can follow me there. I post lots of cute pictures of the guinea pigs, so make sure to check that out. But let's get into the video. The first assumption is I thought the piggies were all related and you were a breeder. Um, which is not true if you watch my videos. You know that the only guinea pigs that were related were Pebbles and Little One. They were mother and son, but we, we didn't breed Pebbles. We didn't even know she was pregnant. We came into the room and saw a baby guinea pig in our cage, which is why Little One is called Little One. That was a huge surprise to us, a huge shock at first to be honest. Um, and we really didn't know Pebbles was pregnant um, and we don't know who the father is. It's not one of our guinea pigs. We adopted Sylvester the same day little one was born. Sylvester definitely doesn't have anything to do with it. He was promised two females to live with and suddenly he was living with a baby. The next assumption had me laughing. It says, you don't wash their carpet pieces, you just replace them. Someone in your family owns a rug shop. I want to give a huge thumbs up to this assumption because this is really awesome. Obviously I wash the carpets, they are bath mats um, and I just put them in the washing machine but this was a really funny assumption so thank you for that. Someone else said, you don't like making YouTube videos and only do it for the cloud. I first had to go on Urban Dictionary to find out what the cloud is, but it apparently means something like you just do it for like the fame or like the influence, um, which I don't do because I don't really show my face most of the time. There are a couple of videos where I show my face. Usually I'm just the voice of this channel and the guinea pigs are the stars. I lead two very separate lives. I have an offline life where I have a job and then I have YouTube which is kind of my hobby, my free time thing, um, and these two lives are pretty much kept separate. Someone said, I'm assuming little one's death was heartbreaking for you, that's why he didn't get a goodbye video. That is correct, that is the reason why I didn't make a goodbye video, I'm still not watching any videos that feature little one. Sylvester grew more trusting, calm and less energetic as he aged. That is definitely true, I think except for the less energetic part because Sylvester has periods of time where he just turns into a guinea pig pup and starts running around and jumping and popcorning and he is super energetic. Um, but he definitely grew more trusting and calm the older he got. Another assumption was that I have to train the guinea pigs not to jump over the sides of the cage. Um, no, I didn't have to train them. The size of the cage are just really too high for them to jump up. I think they're around 20 centimeters to 25 centimeters. That's too high for them to jump. However, they could technically jump over the gate, which is a question I see under lots of my YouTube videos. The form of the gate, so this little round shape makes it really difficult for them because they keep sliding to the side and also guinea pigs are not that great with heights so they have trouble really guessing how high something is. Little one once accidentally fell out of the cage. I was building a veggie DIY in front of the cage and he was just at the door looking at it and he just got so hungry that he kept inching forward and forward and forward where he didn't jump he just fell out of the cage and he was really surprised and we were really surprised and that's how i learned to prepare the veggie diys in the kitchen assumption you spend a lot of time cleaning and still the hay is everywhere yes <laughs> youtube is your job which I do spend a lot of time making YouTube videos, but I do them on the weekend because I have an offline job where I am during the week. Someone else says, I don't think you overwork yourself. I feel like everyone always says they're overworked, but I do work a lot. It's not because of only the YouTube videos. So I usually work during the week in my offline job and then on the weekends I film my YouTube videos and YouTube videos is part free time because I enjoy doing that and I like doing that but sometimes it also turns into work because obviously sometimes I just want to just read a book or watch some Netflix but instead I edit or plan out new videos. So I pretty much only have one day off weekend and I work six days a week because one day a week is YouTube. I sometimes am overworked. 
Someone else said, I have a job in the medical field, which I definitely don't. I have absolutely no talent in the sciences, <laughs> to be honest. Um, someone else said, your boyfriend isn't your boyfriend anymore. I thought I saw you wearing a sparkly thing on your finger. He's your fiance. That is correct. I posted a vlog in April where we went to Singapore and um, in the vlog you see capybaras um, and this is where we got engaged. Assumption number two, you either work in the law business as a paralegal or you work as a translator interpreter. None of these jobs are in my office job, so I work at a university. I do like some form of my own mini project within a bigger project. Um, also, your boyfriend doesn't like that many guinea pigs. He would only accept not more than two in the house. And obviously my boyfriend is fine with the five guinea pigs that we have, but I also don't think he'd mind having two guinea pigs instead of five. Um, lots of other people said your boyfriend loves the piggies, which is also true. He sees them all the time and they're just so cute, you can't help but grow close to them. Someone else said, I assume your piggies understand you better in German than in English. And I don't think my guinea pigs can really distinguish between German and English. They appear to not care which language I speak to them. Um, I think they only react to the intonation of my voice. Um, so I don't think they care whether I talk to them in German or in English. Someone else assumed that I lived in the US at one point, which is correct. I lived on the East Coast from 2013 to 14. Someone else said the piggies are always confused when you pull out the camera and start filming. The guinea pigs are usually not confused when I pull out the camera and start filming. Most of the time they get really excited because they associate the camera with food and they know something exciting is always happening when I get out the camera. However, whenever we adopt new guinea pigs, they're very confused when suddenly they have this big bulky thing in their cage and all of the other guinea pigs get excited but it doesn't smell like food and it doesn't sound like food and it doesn't behave like food but all the other guinea pigs get excited and then the new guinea pig is always really really confused because it just doesn't get what all the fuss is all about. Someone had another assumption about the guinea pigs. So Gatsby's New Year's resolution is to find a way to get to the carpet without being caught. I cannot answer that for sure but I suspect that as well. I think she's up to something. She's, she's planning something. She's looking out of the cage into the vague direction of the carpet, so I think something's going on there. Let's hope the camera is on when it happens. Someone else said the guinea pigs don't like to cooperate when you film. That is uh, not that often true. Sometimes it is true though. I think that's never happens with food videos, um, but this sometimes happens with floor time vlogs when I am getting ready to set everything up and I'm ready to film and the guinea pigs are just like, nope, we're eating hay slash sleeping, whatever. <laughs> they were not willing to get up. And then I usually have to just wait like 10 to 15 minutes and then when I call them, they get really excited. Someone said, I'm a Hufflepuff. That is correct. Someone else said, Sylvester is an ancient being that lives to keep order and peace in every cage he inhabits. I think that as well. Cannot be entirely sure because I don't know much about his past, but I think Sylvester would like that people think that about him. Someone else says, I assume you often talk about your guinea pigs with other people in your life. That is true because I just spend a lot of time with the guinea pigs and I spend a lot of time making YouTube videos so that obviously makes up a huge part of what I talk about uh, in my day-to-day -day life. Your guinea pigs are planning to take over your YouTube channel to use the profits on PFLAGS. Again, I cannot be entirely sure about this but and the guinea pigs will probably never admit that but I think this is true as well. Someone else said, you spend less time with the guinea pigs off camera than you do on camera. This is also false, so I spend probably more time off camera with the guinea pigs because I have, have to clean the cage, I feed them, I interact with them a lot, and also they're just so cute, you cannot resist them. So these were a few assumptions, I hope you enjoyed this video, and see you guys next time! Bye!